Five records I couldn't stand when I first heard them, but now I love. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. Aquatic Records with Captain Ron started a thread, and I think it's really interesting. So it's five records that, upon first hearing, you couldn't stand, but now you've grown to really love or appreciate. I'm going to cheat, because in this contest, which I often try to do, I'm not going to stick strictly to records, but I'm also going to go into comic book art. So number one uh that i'm going to talk about is divine okay my husband loves divine his voice is god awful it's just horrible um but he plays it and plays it and plays it and i've come to appreciate uh these recordings and i actually even really like them now number two is going to be the comic book art of Frank Miller, especially for The Dark Knight. So the art on this is so different from mainstream comic art. When it came out at the time, it was just hard for me to appreciate. But now I know that this is, in many ways, a masterpiece. And... It's so funny because I was in a library uh, book club and we were branching into different st oops, branching into different styles of literature. And I recommended um, that we read The Dark Knight. <laughs> and I remember this so vividly. One of the um, one of the participants came in that day and threw it on the table and said, this is absolute crap. <laughs> so I understood that. But I've grown to really love and appreciate uh, this art. Um, it's beautiful to look at in a very weird, ugly way. Okay, my number three is also an homage to my husband. So he absolutely loves high energy music. And it's taking, taken me a long time to come around. Now, I still don't like a lot of it. But... The woman's voice is so grating to me. The fact that it's so repetitive, the high energy songs, so repetitive and they go on for so long. So what I have had to endure sonically over the course of the years for marital harmony should not, no one should have to endure. If you want an example, let's listen to a snippet of this and imagine you had to listen to this for 15 minutes at a time, one song, for 20 years. <laughs> My number four is going to be Gold Key Comics. Now, I'm a huge comic book fan, but I never bought any Gold Key Comics. They mostly had um, like Walt Disney and those cartoony type things. And then they had a line of superhero comics, but I never read any of them. Um, I think they were a little bit before my time. And I just didn't get it. But now that I'm older, especially the covers of these comics, they're beautiful. The painted cover of these comics. And I'm actually trying to collect as many as I can in the original form. Because I just, I just dig this artwork. So here's another example from... Robot Fighter, Magnus, Robot Fighter. So I just, like I said, I dig the painted art on many of these. And they do have a horror line, a few of them. And the covers on those, those are great as well. And my number five is one of my favorite singers, Sinead O'Connor. I really, really love Sinead O'Connor's voice. And when she put out her album, Am I Not Your Girl?, I listened to it and I immediately did not like it. It was just so different from what she had done before. Um, so Sinead O'Connor has this voice where she can belt. She can really sing. And she was so reserved on this recording. She wasn't using that. She was just basically singing and kind of... Her voice is actually very breathy. And so she was going at these songs in a very subdued way. Now, as I'm older, I really appreciate what she did on this recording. And I also appreciate the fact that 
she had done pop albums and then she wanted to to do a love letter to the songs and to the artists that came before her that she grew up on. And so she picked songs that were near and dear to her heart and she sang them. As an older person, I do really appreciate that recording of Am I Not Your Girl by Sinead O'Connor. So those are my five albums that upon first listen, I disliked, but now I, I've come to really uh, love and appreciate. So, of course, I will put um, the original video link in the description, and I would love to start seeing this thread come to life. I think this is a great thread. Um, I look forward to seeing some other people's uh, videos out there. And again, thank you for the support.